What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to another knife therapy session. Man, it has been a hot minute since I've been able to sit down uh, with everyone and bring you some knife-related content. But we've been in some crazy times with COVID going on. Now we got protesting and rioting in the United States. It is just absolutely crazy. Um, but I'm super pumped to bring you this. Uh, this is the Protect Malibu an extremely highly anticipated knife coming out of SHOT Show 2020. And I was lucky enough to be one of the first ones to pick it up. So I wanted to bring it to you. And this is one thing I wanna do on the channel going forward is I wanna give you like my first impressions on a new knife. Obviously, I'm not gonna give you like a full blown uh, review of it because I haven't even used it. I literally got it today and I wanted to bring it to you um, because I know a lot of you are waiting for yours to get in and get your hands on one. So uh, hopefully you find this interesting. Hopefully this fills somewhat of a void if you're waiting on getting a Malibu and just know it's worth the wait. It's extremely good. And we probably should address this now. Guys, if you're upset about the title of the video, just know it is complete and utter clickbait. Thank you for joining. Um, if you're not subscribed to Knife Therapy, I don't know what you're doing. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. There should be a little... Uh, if you're on your mobile device in the bottom right corner, make sure you hit that. Uh, but I'm not a huge clickbaiter, but every now and then I'm just, I'm experimenting, guys. Trying to trying to see if, uh, get a couple extra views, you know what I'm saying. But, uh, yeah, let's jump into this thing. Give you some quick uh, stats on this. This is uh, coming at 7.5 inches overall length. It's got a blade length of 3.25 inches and only a weight of 3 ounces. Guys, that's an under an ounce per inch, and this thing is super light. Like, crazy, crazy uh, light in the hand. It reminds me of the Benchmade Bug Out. It's just a great carry in the pocket. Um, I mean, this thing is just going to disappear. I carried it around all day today, pretty much, and absolutely loved it. I opened one package uh, with it. And speaking of uh, opening a package, man, Protec ground this thing stupid thin. Like it is going to be such a such a great user. It's flat ground, but man, they really took off some material there, guys. So this thing is going to be a great slicer for you. And just that fidgety action of the button lock, and they, Protec has really, really dialed in their manual flipper. They're they're killing it. I don't know what to tell you. Um, if you're not familiar with Protec, Protec is known for making their automatic knives. They're probably the top automatic knife manufacturer in in the world. Um, and recently they've done a couple collaborations with Fair Forge and Drop um, and made some manual flippers. And all those successes has translated into the Malibu. Uh, just an outstanding knife super pumped to have one and guys you know i'm a super small youtube channel i ain't getting no free crap from no knife manufacturer no distributor nothing like that so i paid for this with my own money and that's just so you can get an honest review i ain't reaching out to no manufacturer no distributor to get free junk either um i just want to i just want to bring you the best content my honest opinion of of those certain products so that if it's a crap knife, you're not gonna waste money like I did on that. Um, or if it's the best knife ever, you gotta get jump on it and make sure you get one. Um, definitely make sure you get a Protec Malibu. It's definitely worth the money. Um, it's coming in under $200. I think I paid 185. I mean, it's screaming good value, uh, especially how well they ground it. I mean, this thing, this thing could be your only knife for the rest of your life. And I put very few knives in that category, uh, but this Protec, if you're looking for an EDC knife to just fix your habit of buying expensive knives, man, this this could do it. This could be your fix for sure. Um, guys, I've selected a few size comparisons here um, from pretty much the same thing, some just great EDC knives about the same size, and let's jump into that. So one of my favorites I've been carrying like every day, super addicted to it, 
is the Hinder XM18. This is the vintage uh, three inch. Great knife, uh, really, really loving that knife. Uh, it carries extremely well. Love the walnut too, by the way. I, I've never had wood on a knife, but sold me, sold me. Um, this is the Benchmade Bug Out. So as you can see there, it's a great size, like smaller to medium sized EDC knife, which is what I prefer to carry on an everyday basis. When you get too big, it's just too heavy. And uh, sorry guys, some nice calling me there. When you get too big, it's just too cumbersome uh, to carry every day and then you just leave it at home. So this is the size I really settled on and I uh, really like it. Uh, here's the Sabenza small 21. And then we're gonna end on everybody's favorite. I'm just kidding, but it's most people's favorite. Uh, this is the Spyderco Para 3. And this one is an exclusive through Cutlery Shop, CTS XHP steel, one of my all time favorite steels. And uh, did I mention that Malibu's Rockin' 20 CV? Probably one of the best uh, overall knife uh, steels out on the market right now, comparable to M390 and 204P. I mean, everything about this knife is just excellent. Uh, anything you want in a knife, sturdy construction, rocking blade steel, uh, super, super aggressive grind. I mean, you can see the blade blade mark in uh, is right there on the back of the flipper tab. Man, it's just awesome. There's only one thing that bugs me about the knife, uh, but I'm going to wait till uh, the full review to tell you that. It's super minor, nothing big, but it's excellent, guys. Excellent. Don't listen to the title of this video. Absolutely, if you can get your hands on a ProTech Malibu, go out and buy one today. Do not hesitate. Uh, you will not be disappointed. Oh, make sure you hit that subscribe button again. If you ain't, make sure you hit it. I don't know what you're waiting for. Hit it now. And uh, guys, I will see you soon. Everybody stay safe. Peace.